So, hello, welcome back to the next episode of the self development with Tactics podcast. I have decided to record another one so that my tomorrow is going to be easier. So that tomorrow is going to be not that of a difficult day and not that of a uh, such a lot of work to do day. And I'm also going to do some other work today. I don't know, like today is actually my rest day and I've been able to rest quite a bit. I'm actually pretty happy and I'm also, um, I don't know, like... I do want to incorporate one day in the week where I am somehow able to live like I sometimes want to live and do things that I sometimes want to do. I still did a lot of sports today, like I did a lot of fucking shit today, it's insane, but um, but yeah, I've also eaten quite a lot today, (laughs) it's going to be just really a lot of carbs like really a lot of carbs, It's, it's actually insane as I'm thinking about it. But but I don't know how... I do think that it is not that uncommon for some people anyway. We're going to go through some philosophical thoughts and some philosophical posts here on Instagram. And, and we're going to see, yeah. It is not the length of life, but the depth from Ralph Waldo Emerson or Ralph Waldo Emerson. I don't know how to pronounce him, so I'm, I'm pronouncing him in two ways. Um, but I would definitely say, yeah, it depends. I would definitely say, yeah, it depends. Because, um, I do believe that having a long life is good, but also living a, you know, I do understand what he means. I think that he means that we should be living in a present. We should be, um... We should be living in the here and now. We should not be be like the depth, you know, enjoying every day and, and not letting things pass that quickly. This is, I think, what he means. At least this is my thought. It could be something completely different as well. I'm not going to lie, but yeah. What we think we become Buddha, definitely the case. A hundred pro fucking cent. Um, why this is the case, I don't actually know. But things that are on our mind are fucking with us. And our mind is actually pretty strong, unfortunately and fortunately. So when you think you're having a bad day, you're probably having a bad day. When you think you have been hurt, then you have been hurt. If you think that you're the most amazing motherfucker there is, then you're probably going to be so. And if you think that something is going to be a certain way, then it is probably also going to be a certain way. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, which is something that we are uh, unfortunately relatively often experiencing, I would say. You know, it depends. You know, it depends on the person, but some people are definitely experiencing it more often than others. Um, better to die on one's feet than to live on one's knees. Uh, Sartre. Or Sartre. Sartre. I don't know. Um, I've never heard of this philosopher, of this this guy, apparently. Um, Very interesting. But the worst enemy you can meet will always be yourself. Friedrich Nietzsche. Yes, because you yourself know every single fear that you're having. You yourself know all the things that you're trying to not have, that you're neglecting to see. Um, There's a lot of bunch... You know, there's a lot of things that that are probably not good about yourself and you know these things and nobody else knows these so yeah you actually indeed yourself are your worst enemy let's see what there is Uh, the next one is by arthur schopenhauer or arthur schopenhauer it depends it is a clear gain to sacrifice pleasure in order to avoid yeah but fucking do that it's not it's not that easy to 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 really be honest um yeah it really is it really is not because of course this means okay i'm not gonna have this short-term pleasure but i'm gonna have the long-term pleasure and the short-term quote-unquote pain which is the case for working out which is the case for a clean diet and a healthy diet even though it doesn't necessarily have to be that of a that of a big thing meaning that yeah you can have a clean diet, you can have a healthy diet, but you don't have to starve yourself, you don't have to kill yourself, you don't have to eat things and food that's 
that's really not tasting well and so on and so on and so on so it always depends i would say like there is there's often some ways how you can make things that are pain in the short term less pain but still get all of the um pleasure therefore and all of the gain in the long term dare to think immanuel kant or actually immanuel kant since i think he was german as far as i know and remember the next one is van gogh i dream my painting and i paint my dream amazing guy amazingly interestingly guy indeed the next fyodor dostoevsky above all don't lie to yourself yes i know this is not going to lead to many good things this is not going to lead to anything good at all if you lie to yourself and you should be honest to yourself about the things that you're seeing the things that you're feeling and i think not lying to yourself was a means not being like well yeah it's okay it's fine you know this is this is not that bad even though it is quite bad but also um also not uh being like we can see things and and i think we all see things in ourselves that are not that amazing but sometimes we are like well it's not that of a bad thing you know because we we tend to um neglect to to see the severity of of ourselves and our behavior and whatever the fuck and yeah let's think about that really being honest concerning everything appear weak when you're strong and strong when you're weak soothed too um i don't actually know what he's trying to say um i think that we should be strong always it makes sense at least and and i try to do so at least um i often am not to be honest i really am you know i i have often considered myself being mentally relatively strong i uh, i am it it depends on what it is all about if it is about some things that solely have something to do with my mind then no not really if it is having uh, something to do with discipline and then doing what i should be doing then yeah i have a strong mind but you know as i said it really depends mark twain the two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why i do want to tell you something i um i at the time i'm a little bit struggling with well i don't necessarily want to say mental health but um but with being happy um today was actually a day that i've really been looking forward to but i you know in the end i've i've not been able to enjoy it as much as i wanted to now i'm enjoying it but it is already i think half past 8 p.m. and um i'm going to eat a bunch afterwards after the recording which i'm also looking forward to some things that i normally wouldn't be eating and uh i'm probably also having to drink something i'm actually pretty fucking thirsty and it's difficult for me uh i'm living in a first world country i'm having everything but it's still difficult which is something that i've been talking about before and I really am grateful for a lot of things that I'm having for all the people around me for the food that I'm having for the life that I'm actually having and the life that I'm able to live but because of certain things that happen in my life and because of certain circumstances that I find myself in I I am not that happy and I do have a lot of negative thoughts in in my mind um very lately I've been having that and very lately I've been also a tiny bit overwhelmed by the amount of things that I'm that I'm doing quite uh which is also why I have you know uh, lowered the amount of 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 um discipline that I'm having with food and um you know working out hasn't been that amazing uh, lately as well a lot of things really dropped a bit I would say which you know which is not concerning me at all because i know that i'm going to get get back to it and know that eventually i'm going to get really pissed off by the way i look maybe physically or whatever it is concerning or whatever it is about 
I'm gonna change that and um, I'm always gonna work a little bit today as well even though I I kind of don't want to and I kind of just want to relax a bit but it is what I have to do and it is also actually in the end what it what is making fun for me at least um, but yeah I often tend to to look into the future and then look into the past and see things that I shouldn't be focusing on and then focus on things that I shouldn't be focusing on. And um, what am I born for? I, to really be honest, I'm born for moving. And I would also say being creative. This is what I've been born for. I, as a child, have always been moving. I've always been 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 going around i've always been uh i've always been been playing i've always been i've always been athletic actually indeed i I've, I've i've always been pretty sporty um since the day i was born um yeah <laughs> this is actually what i've always been doing and 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 that i've always liked you know whether it is actually working out or just uh cycling and whatever it might be there was something on my mind but i've kind of forgotten about it i just live a great life and there is so much that i'm that i'm having to look forward to and that i'm looking forward to there's going to be a lot of tough times and there's going to be a lot of tough decisions there's going to be a lot of things that i don't want to do like my fucking driver's license i just don't want to do it i just don't want to learn for that shit I just don't want to. I, I do really need to figure out a way to to go through that because I just really don't want to. I feel like that it is just taking so much time, so much energy, and and I just don't want to spend it on that. Um, I don't know. Like, also be don't that don't be that serious about life, and don't be unhappy. Of course, there's going to be some days where you're not going to be just smiling all day long and laughing all day long, but it is fine. Just try to not be depressed. Just try to not see things. Try to not suffer more in just imagination than in reality. Yeah, I've kind of forgotten my point. And anyway, I do hope that I've been able to spit some things that could help you. To love is to suffer and there can be no love otherwise. Fyodor. Uh, Dostoevsky once again. Aristotle, there is no greater genius without some touch of mad. Quite, yeah. The meaning of life is to give life meaning. Viktor Frankl. I'm actually looking forward to being in uni or whatever it is going to be for me, but, but I'm looking forward to meeting new people. I'm looking forward to just having a new life. I'm looking forward to, to change, actually, maybe. Anyway, Socrates, which is the next one. Every action has its pleasure and its price. Yes, every action. You talk when you cease to be at peace with your thoughts. Khalil Gibran. You talk when you cease to be at peace with your thoughts. Hmm. I've never heard that, by the way. The next by Joseph Campbell... The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you see. Yeah, fear is bullshit. Fuck fear. Seno of Sidium, man conquers the world by conquering himself. And I would say this as well. If you're able to control your mind and your body, you're able to control a lot of fucking things. Especially when it comes to your mind. Um, yeah. Oscar Wilde. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. I'm always forgiving people. There is there is not a lot of hate that I'm having in myself. Um, in very 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 recent times, I, I, it is it is such a difficult topic. It is such a difficult thing to, to say whether it is right or whether it is wrong. But I've been, maybe, um, cutting out. People cutting out things out of my life. S some sort of and or reducing the amount of exposure that I'm having to them. And it's been one of the most difficult things that I've ever done in my life. Just because it kind of feels wrong. It feels wrong in a sense of 
giving love to people and, and being there for people actually um, I'm still there for everyone like if there is something going on everyone is able to text me hit me up or whatever it is I'm, I'm always going to be there for people I'm always going to be there for the people I love or loved um, this is just who I am and this is just who I want to be but um, sometimes I do have a feeling that I that I shouldn't neglect my feelings and I shouldn't kill myself internally quite on purpose you know purposefully living in pain yes to some degree is good some sort of but not always uh, yeah period some amazing quotes by the way and I enjoyed so much going through them what is to give light must endure burning Victor Frankl once again Carl Jung or Carl Jung who looks outside dreams who looks inside awakes Socrates, those who want the fewest things are nearest to the gods. Physics isn't the most important thing, love is. Richard P. Feynman, which is, I think, the author of Hey, Mr. Feynman, which seems to be a relatively funny book. Fyodor, Fyodor uh, Dostoevsky, once again, to go wrong in one's way is better than to go right in someone's, someone else's way. I'm not no, I, I wouldn't say so actually, but yeah. The flame that burns twice as bright burns half as long. Lao Tzu. Or Tzu. Helen Keller, and this is going to be the last one for today. The only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. I've had that before, but I think it is still amazing. And I do want to check out some poetry that they are also having, apparently. I write because it makes me feel like someone's listening or I'm feel I'm or I'm finally listening to myself. Good thought. We all broke our rules for someone. Yes. Definitely the fucking case. Normality is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk but no flower grows. And the last one, don't die before don't die before you're dead. You are dead, by the way, not you, you're dead. Anyway, I like the feet. I think it is amazing. You know, I, I don't give a fuck whether there is a theme, whether there is like um, some some whatever, some consistency. But 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 I like the idea with the shadows. I think it's cool. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. So I wish you the best health of happiness and all success. And also hope that you're going to remind yourself and how you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person and then being remembered as a nice person. Which is a pretty fucking cool thing, I would say, and I would consider. Yeah. Um, three other things that I have here are why are you here? What are you trying to change and what is for what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is a pretty fucking cool thing. And, and, and yeah. One last thing is what could you essentially say? To another person that is indeed going to change their life. Because I totally believe that we all can say something. And we all can communicate something. That is indeed going to change somebody's life. So do that, motherfucker. And yeah, that being said, please take care of yourself, your family members and all of you. We laughed once. And I'm hopefully going to see you the next time. So bye-bye.